what it do y'all let get into it we ain't about to waste no time i honestly was not gonna watch this right but it's carmen bro we might as well tap in you know what i'm saying she says addressing all the stuff okay 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 understandable understandable even though i'm gonna say it right now it don't matter what you address people still gonna think what they want to think that's just the way life is it just is what it is you dig it I walk into the store, I'm black. They looking at me like I'm finna steal. It is what it is. I can tell them I ain't finna steal. I got money. It don't matter. <laughs> I know when y'all, y'all women, when y'all go into um the hair, the hair, the hair supply store, right? What what they do? What them Chinese people do to y'all? They watch you. Not only to make sure you don't steal, but just in case you need some help, right? People always gonna have their opinions. They always gonna have their opinions. That's how people work. As soon as they see you, their mind is trying to trickleate and calculate opinions and information about you. That's just how people work. Now, they don't know if the opinions are true or false, but guess what? They believe it's true. They thought about it. they like, oh yeah, that gotta be real. No, that ain't the way life works. You can never read a book by its cover. You can never. And that's why half of y'all are dumb, because y'all don't read books. Makes sense, right? Makes a lot of sense. Anyways. Y'all let me know in the comment section, how many books have you read so far this year? I said this year. I didn't say last year. This year. It's the second month. You ain't even read two books. You're dumb. You're stupid. Your brain is degenerating. It is what it is. Read books, please, y'all. Gain intellect and information. That way you stop judging other people because of the way they live, their life, right? Because if you understood, you had intellect and information about the way people live their life and why they do the things they do, you'll show unconditional love. Right. But since people lack information, they tend to judge because they have no information. All they can do is judge. Oh, that looks like a uh, that uh, man, man, man. That's all they do. That's all they do. They're never going to walk up to you and ask you what you do. They ain't got no pride like that. You know what I mean, they just want to judge you from from a far distance and talk about you. That's cool. That's cool. But you got to understand, Carmen, when you become a king, queen, prince, whatever, you become a superstar, you become uh, uh, just something that ain't nobody else was able to accomplish. When, you, when you're doing things that other people ain't able to accomplish, right? They always going to judge you on it. They always going to say something. So let's get into this video, though. She going to address all of the, the bull stuff, you know what I'm saying, that's going on, all the talk that's going on, if there is any going on, right? All right, let's tune in. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel today. I am back with an updated Q&A because I feel like I have a lot of stuff that I need to just get out of my chest because last month it was just full of a lot of unnecessary stuff and a lot of BS that I deal with. And it's like, God, leave. My year starts this month. Okay, so I asked y'all to ask me some questions on Instagram and stuff like this. So I okay. got this. It's a lot. Right it's a lot going I should have read through. Let's, oh, let's go back, y'all. <laughs> you want to read through some of them? Give me some questions on Instagram and stuff like this. Oh, I got when you come in to relieve some stress at the gym. Okay, that sounds cool. Is it K-Leg? Okay, she, she told my A. She trying to get you in the gym. Okay, we got some else. You going to put me on a blind date? Okay, okay. So much trying to go on a blind date. That's fire. When I come back to Houston, we got to work. Hmm, okay. Will you ever respond to all the allegations made against you? She doing it right now. All right. How is the boys doing? Hey, that's that's a who is that? Okay, okay, that's thoughtful. I don't know if you will answer, but how are you feeling today? Beautiful, of course. I don't even know why y'all. All right, whatever. How is your new place treating you? That's a good one. I miss you. How is life been treating you? It's the same person that put that. How's the boys doing? Okay, this person know her personally, possibly, possibly. You know what I'm saying? Possibly. If you could, what is one thing you would go back in time and change? Nothing. What? God made everything the way it's supposed to be. That's stupid. If you're talking about changing something back in time, that's dumb. How are you doing? Uh, let's come down. Nah, nah, nah. What's your race? Okay. Are you ready to be loved? Do you still talk to Michi? Do you miss your family? I have no question. I want you to know I love you. God loves you. I'm keeping keeping your family in prayers okay got you okay a lot of these are girls which is good okay what do you most want at this stage of your life you're beautiful by the way that's a good one are you still car shopping 
Okay, that's a good one because she was looking for a car. That means somebody's paying attention and they trying to they probably trying to help you out get a little deal. You know what I mean? She gonna get a deal regardless. You know what I'm saying? It's karma. How are you mentally and where are you right now in life? Okay, okay, okay. How is things with you and okay, okay. How are you will will you find love? The fuck kind of question is that? How's she supposed to know? Y'all gotta understand it's God's timing. That's it. It's that simple. You ain't setting no goals, nigga. Talking about some, oh, I'm gonna have me a wife by this week, man. I'm gonna have, man, I'm gonna be married and everything by 28. Man, man, if God said you ain't gonna get married until 40, get what, bitch? You ain't get married until 40. Stop playing. Y'all be playing with y'all lives. You ain't writing this script. You just acting it out. Okay, let's keep the video going, though. Y'all ain't got no control over this world. Y'all ain't noticed that yet? Y'all ain't got no control over this world. Huh. That's tough. The only thing you have control over is yourself. And some people can't even control themselves. Right? A lot right now. It's a lot going on here. So we're going right to it, okay? I'm not going to hold y'all up because I know y'all want to know. First thing is first, somebody asked me, said, will you date a girl? No, I will never date no girl. I feel like us two girls, like, together, I don't know, somebody going to end up in jail or something. We <laughs> emotional. But I would, I would... I'm glad she addressed it. She no, she addressed it. She's like, we too emotional. Hey, Carmen, you smart. You the first girl I've ever heard say that shit, bruh. Everybody else wants to swear they not too emotional. What? Okay, I'm glad she's smart, bro. This is crazy. The next one is, are you sick of such and such playing with you? Sick is not even the word at this point, y'all. Like, I feel like I'm just so just drained, completely drained out. Then, like, the situation just dry. I'm not even sick about it. It's just like, ugh, like, give it a rest. You know what I mean? Like, damn. The next one is, how has okay. life been treating you? Life is life, man. Life has been freaking <laughs> life in the life in. out of me. And I'm not even going to hold you. I like, life is just so mysterious. Like, you don't know what's going to happen, how it's going to happen. There you go. God works in mysterious ways. There you go. So she definitely on a, she, she on a high path straight up. She's going straight to the top, y'all. She talking it. She talking that talk. I'm telling y'all, you can hear it in the words. Like she said, you don't know what's going to happen. You think you finna go to the store next thing you got a flat tire. You don't know what's gonna happen. Right? But along while you had that flat tire, guess what? Someone helpful came along and helped you out. Now that person that came to help you out, that might be your soulmate. That could be your new best friend, right? You just never know what's going on and why it happened. Some people they'd be so mad, oh man, I can't make it to the store now. Nah, 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 nah. But that ain't that one ain't even the purpose. That's not you not if you if you staying aware, then you see you see you see everything else. Anything that's good, gonna have a little bad in it. Anything that's bad, you're gonna have a little good in it, right? It's duality, right? So again, someone stopped along and helped you out, and you never know that became your best friend, man. They always helped you out, and you always helped them out, man. Blase, blase, blase. And who made that connection? Was it the flat tire? No. It wasn't a flat tire. It was God who made that tire go flat to make you stop and then put into their mind, the person's mind, not drive past you. Because most people just drive straight past you. You're like, man, eh, whatever. They'll get some help. But instead, this person's like, you know what? I'm going to help them. You see how that worked? In divine timing. In divine timing. And you don't know nothing, but it definitely has been life in in so many ways. It's just like, we got to shake back. Like, we got to let that go. Life has been treating me so far, like, all right. You know, I feel like I need to go through these because I feel like mm -hmm. it's something bigger, like, way to bring me down the line. Better, so I have yeah. to just, you know, hop on all these bumps so I can get there, baby. Right. Mm -mm -mm. The next one is, how are you doing mentally? Mentally, y'all, I'm lost. Like, I really am lost. Not in a bad way, but, like, I'm lost in a way where it's, like, I'm trying to keep my focus on what I need to focus. But it's, like, little small things be trying to, you know, just pull me from that. So it's kind of very, like, mentally drained to deal with a lot of stuff, especially if it's so public. Like, that's very much draining. It mentally gets you to the point where it's just, like, you, you can't even think clear. You know what I mean? Like, you can't even think about, well, like, how do I want to move forward? Like, how can I? The main thing is put all your trust and love into God. Every single person, every single human being, every single animal is going to look at you and gain some type of perspective. They're going to think about you in a certain type of way. They're going to think about you in any type of way. We don't know and we don't care. 
That's the whole point. We don't know and we don't care. Y'all ever been in Walmart? And y'all see them people standing in line. Y'all y'all think they just looking at you as you walking through the door and they didn't have no type of thought in their head. Oh, look at their outfit. Oh, I like them shoes. Oh, look at her hair. I wonder what they coming in here for. Oh, they got a car. They got two cars. You, you don't think they going to have any type of opinion? So, what happens is you get to the point where she, she talking about you get a little burnt out. Not even necessarily burned out, but you just get a little tired of the same re repetitive stuff, right? And then once you get tired of repetitive stuff, guess what? Now you got to find the other side, the kingdom of heaven, right? So the kingdom of heaven is what? It's a peaceful place, right? On the inside, right? It's a peaceful place, right? So, for example, and I'm going to give this a brief example really fast. A lot of y'all can relate. You wake up, it's raining outside. You're like, ah, oh, it's raining. When I wake up, I see it's raining. I'm like, yes, it's raining. Because I understand that the fog, not only, the rain not only clears the fog, it provides clean air, but it also helps the food grow, right? It helps everything get its nutrition, right? So I'm like, yes, it's raining, purple rain. I'm on my Prince level shit, right? I'm running out in the rain. I'm dancing in the fucking rain, right? While other people's like, man, it's raining. I'm not going nowhere. It's raining. I can't go nowhere. I can't do nothing. You see, you, can you see the two different sides, the duality? It's one side that's going to bring you down. Everything you, it's raining all. It's, it could be, it, man, it could be 100, 120 degrees. It's too hot. Me? I'm like, it's 120. Oh, yeah. The shirt off. I'm like, oh, yeah. We, out, we outside. Right? So, again, it's duality. You can either look at stuff in the bad lens or you can have that positive, uh, optimistic Instead of pessimistic outlook of life, right? And everything is like that. Everything is literally like that. Every single thing. That's how when we got into, they was talking about the forks and the knives. People back in the day didn't like forks and knives. They said that's the devil type of thing, right? But again, you can look at it in either way. You can you look at it as what you can, what you condemn it with. You can stab somebody with it or whatever. We're not trying to do that, right? Positive. We're going to use these forks and knives for tools, right? For good, for the goodness, right? So, with <laughs> Carmen, you, you got to look at the, the, the both sides of the, the story here. You got a lot of people looking at you, right? And this goes for any celebrity, right? Beyonce, all of them, they got people tweeting them, DMing them all day long. But at the end of the day, how many of these people actually really know you? None of them. None of them. None of them know you. So then the question is, how can you even feel or attach your emotion and love to a bunch of people who don't know you? Does that make sense? How can you do that? You haven't seen these people a day in your life. You don't know them. Half the time is bots. And y'all don't even know that. Half the time is bots. They have automated computers and bots that put messages on the people's stuff. It could be good message. It could be bad message. It could be whatever. That's not the point. Right? And this is what I'm saying. You can't go. And then you're going on through the messages. And then you're going on Twitter. You're going on Instagram. And these people are saying all these different type of outlandish stuff that have nothing to do with nothing. They don't know you. They don't know you. Can I handle this? Because you just so slow. It is like, damn, like, why am I still dealing with this right now? Wait, I should be doing that. So I feel like that should be the devil, like, poking me and trying to just distract me from what I got planned. And, like, for this year, because this year is going to be a good year. Like, I have a great feeling about it. Only God knows, okay? The next one here, what gets you through hard times? Also, I love you so much. I love you, too. What gets me through hard times sometimes is, like, be numb. Like, be numb. Don't pay attention to what's really going on. On. Don't open your DMs right now because you know people are gonna talk about what's being said over here. So I kind of just avoid a lot of stuff to just kind of like get through the times that like I'm not gonna be here forever. You know, like I feel like everything's so temporary that it's like a lot of stuff that be happening. It's just like okay, what are we gonna do now? Like it's like you just gotta like find the right. 
A week later, ain't nobody, they on to the next story, right? A month later, they on to the next person's story. Somebody else on did something else in the media, they on to that now. That's exactly how, how, how the sheep work, yes. Yes, they, they flock, yes, that's exactly how it works. So she, she's gaining control over her mental. And which is good is, it's a lot of women who watch her. So that means y'all are gaining control over your mental too, because a lot of y'all follow what she does. Regardless if you say you do or don't, I know y'all do. The best way that works for you to get through stuff. And sometimes my way is not all the way right because I should handle things the way I do sometimes. But I can definitely say that like ignoring a lot of the BS and just kind of blocking everything that comes my way. The next one is, do you? That's right. So the get, like you said, the devil gonna come in, he'll be poking at you. But you gonna give him energy? Nah. You tell him to sit down and you ain't paying him no attention. You know what I'm saying? We ain't worried about you. You sit down in the background, man. You be the shadow. We not worried about you. Okay, we looking forward to the light. God is in the light. It's the, 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 the narrow path forward. You know what I'm saying? Everything else on the side, you got houses burning. You got people over here arguing. You got all this stuff and people shooting. You got people. We following that straight path, the narrow path straight to God. We not looking at what's going on on the left, what's going on on the right. Who cares? They always going to be doing so. They always going to be bickering. They always going to be fighting. They always going to be doing that stuff. We going straight to God where it's peaceful. You ain't got to worry about none of that stuff. You ain't got to worry about none of that stuff. And that's why I said y'all need to tap into the, the kingdom within first. Right? Because if you tap into the kingdom within first, you'll end up like a tree. You'll end up like a tree. You tap into the kingdom within, you end up like a tree. You end up like a rock. You ever heard that saying? It was like, oh, you must live under a rock. You end up like a rock or a tree. Nothing will be able to persuade you. Nothing will be able to sway you. Nothing will be able to come inside of your kingdom, right? They're not going. They can't just throw shit into your kingdom. And, oh, this is why you look like this, and this is why you do this, and this is why this, and this is why that. All that stuff is like hubla habla. They talking off the side of their damn necks. You see what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about none of that stuff, right? Because they're not God, right? People always gonna have their opinions. They always will. You can't stop that. So the thing is, again, you can't allow any of that to get into your kingdom. You in this big ass kingdom, you got the castle, you know what I'm saying? And the peasants are down at the bottom, obviously, right? They can be in the kingdom, they could be part of the kingdom, they can be uh royal too, but instead they rather be down at the bottom and talking their bullshit. Right? They rather talk about you than join up. And unite and show unconditional love because you're a little different than how they are, right? And this this has been going on since Earth has started. Like we ain't even finna sit here and play around no more. This has been going on since Earth started. We not even finna play with this. It started when they ate the damn apple. Now they looking around like, oh wait, you're naked. I'm naked. Wait a minute. Oh my private parts. Yeah. Now you know good and evil. Now you're thinking, oh man. Now now the devil is in your head. They started when they ate the fucking apple. Anytime I eat an apple, I'm telling you right now, the devil is involved in that. I promise you, I know what energy feel like. I know what it feel like to be sober, and I know what it feel like to eat an apple, which in all fruits have alcohol in it. It has spirits in it. So I know what the difference is. A lot of y'all don't pay attention to your inner self. Y'all pay attention to outside stuff. It look good, so you think it must be good. No. No. It ain't never been that way. It ain't never been that way. Again, you got to check the inside. Every fruit has alcohol in it, which means it has spirit in it. Make it make sense. You already got a Holy Spirit in your body. You got God within you. And then you're going to add other spirits inside of you. Doesn't that sound stupid? That sounds dumb. That sounds like you're contaminating the inside of your kingdom. Right? It would only make sense. A lot of y'all still ain't hear me, but it's okay. Like I said, we gon' we gon' we gonna air it out though. We gonna air it all out. You think you will need time to find love again? Of course, you know I feel like I'm such a lover girl, but right now I'm in the stage where it's like, oh, like I'm just so tight with myself and my guard is up because it's like who you can trust, you know what I mean? And I feel like God. it's so easy to hear people talk and say this and say that, but sometimes it's like you can't trust words no more. Like I learned that for sure. You can never trust words. You can never try. I learned that when I was a baby. You can never trust words. What? 
Actions, 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 actions. And words don't mean nothing. The words don't mean nothing. Action, action, action. If it ain't no action, then take all them words mean nothing. Sure. I'm not close on like finding love. Everything that I'm doing that it says love wise, that's for content purpose only. And y'all right. noticed. Just like y'all saw that casting call, y'all was like, oh yeah, this got to be for entertainment only because look at this, look at that. And I'm just trying to give y'all something new that I haven't done. And I feel like I'm free now to do it. So it's like, let's try it and let's see if y'all gonna like it or not. The next one is, are you, doing good? you and Michi still cool. Okay, so this is where I gotta get serious with y'all. Take me serious. Just Even if I smile, it's just like, you know, it's like a still a blush but take me serious on what i want to say okay like we are cool we are cool um i have talked to him after you know like i did that video with my little sister and stuff i talked to him about it one thing about me i feel like sometimes like i will put like this wall in front of me and i really pay attention like to what's really being said or what's going on first is first okay i want to public apologize to michi for making that video for making him feel disrespected for making him feel like i was just gigging about what she was saying towards him the shade and stuff like that like that's what y'all women do anyway <laughs> the fuck uh, that's what y'all do anyway literally that's what y'all do y'all do that regardless so he shouldn't feel disrespect at all as long as he doing his part he shouldn't feel disrespect at all he should just be like oh, whatever because he know what he did and what he didn't do right and you know what he did or didn't do. So it don't matter if you talk, again, off the side of your neck to your homegirl. Because that's what y'all do. Y'all try to make situations seem a little bigger or a little bit smaller. Whatever the case may be. Right? That's just what y'all do. Y'all women. We already understand that. That's what I'm saying. Once you deal with a, a lot of women, you understand how these women work. So we, are, we already understand that. We don't even get mad at y'all. We already know that's what y'all do. <laughs> and we don't care. Right? So he shouldn't feel disrespected at all. Literally, he shouldn't feel disrespected at all. I have not spoke bad about him at all whatsoever, but I can understand how it was getting, like how I was delivering some stuff. It got taken the wrong way, so I should have definitely, I would say I should have definitely delivered in a, such a different way where it seems like, oh, the shade's being thrown at him, or like he's the bad guy, and like I'm trying to play victim, or he has been green because I don't like all the stuff. I try not to pay attention to comments because I know y'all gonna assume whatever y'all wanna assume, and y'all gonna have your own ideas ideas and right. opinions about it but once again i want do want to apologize to him because i should have i should have just wore my things like differently because me and him we did have an understanding like off cameras we was completely open with our communication where we stand and you know how we do it but i would say that i did move careless when it came down to like social media and my youtube and anything that i was doing public like i wasn't really much thinking how this could affect me like in the long run or like if i'm doing this too soon too fast just because y'all liking it seeing that y'all like something that i do sometimes it do get me excited and like i get out of my head and it's like forget it carmen like they like you and they like it so keep doing it you know what i mean but eventually it kind of looked like came in between what was going on like off cameras and mm. no bitch is not a bad person i never spoke bad about him he's like just nothing but great a great great person he has been that with me since day one and to be honest like even to like now even after the video was dropped the reaction was made People was commenting about it. He's still like a great person, you know. You can tell. You can tell. You can tell. You can tell that he got a calm heart. You can tell. You can tell. Mm -hmm. You can tell somebody who has a calm heart, who's a king, and you can also tell someone who wants to actually trap you in that devil energy. And there's a big difference. Um, a lot of women, they get uh, messed up in this uh, Western society about getting married and having kids and they get trapped in that devil energy. They end up with people they don't want to be with. When it, where, where you can be free, you know, you can have freedom and you can actually live your life and do what you want to do without all the extra stuff. So you can tell that he was just coming, just being a nice person. He just wanted to be nice. He just wanted to make sure that you were good, genuinely. Regardless if y'all got together or not, if y'all did this or that, not nah, he didn't care about none of that. You can tell. He wasn't even pressuring you like that. You know what I mean? He was legit. He was. He want to be. He want to be the best friend. He wanted to legit be your friend. You can tell. You can tell. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that man at all. 
he wasn't pressuring Carmen at all. We all seen plenty of videos of Michi in there. We know when he pressing the issue. You know what I mean? And we know when he succeeding and when he not succeeding. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even he didn't even go at Carmen in that type of way. And this is the other thing I be talking about, like just because just because he he approached those other women in that type of way doesn't mean he's gonna approach Carmen in that type of way. Us as men. We know who we can approach in that way and who we can't approach in that way, right? We, we most of the time know. We, we might be wrong here and there, you know what I mean? But most of the time, we, we know. We can look at a girl and tell that she's a freak and she's going to do anything I say. Or we can look at a girl and like, yo, she's a wife and, and I'm going to have to take my time with her. I'm going to have to show her real love. We, we can tell. He ain't trying to dog you out, obviously, right? Like, we can always tell. Some people try to slide the system. They ain't trying to slide the system. He already got your number and everything. He not sliding the system. He already was locked in. So again, when, when it comes to these people in the, in, the, in, the, in the background with the comments and all that stuff, man, he's, they in the background, they know nothing. They just going off of the clips that they see because y'all not posting the full videos. Y'all yeah, yeah, chopping stuff and stuff like that. So they missing so much detail. Right? But they just gonna te text and type, man. They think something. They like, oh, nah. Oh, no, nah. Why she didn't put on a different hat? Mm -mm -mm. Or they might be on the positive side. Like I told you, it's duality in the world. So you're gonna get both being a superstar. So the positive side. Ooh, I love her hat. Ooh, look at her hair, girl. Ooh, you glowing. Ooh. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's always going to be both. Look more toward the positive side. Move, look more toward the optimism. The people who are leaning toward God. Us as humans, the thing is, because we, we so emotional, all of us are, that when we see something negative and destructive, we like to put our energy toward it. Right? It can be a fire going on. Everybody gonna be like, yo, it's a fire, yo, what's going on? But you don't see nobody like, oh, okay, it's a fire. Call the fire people. Like someone who's peaceful, call the fire people. The fire people gonna pull up, they're gonna do their job. But then you got us again, you got the other set of people who gonna be yelling and screaming, oh, it's a fire, oh, the world is ending, oh, the rainforest is gone. Oh. The set of people who are thinking this way. Then you got the positive people like, yo, regardless if this burns, we're going to plant new trees. We're going to plant new life. We're going to bring new life to the planet. We're going to keep things going. Again, stay on the positive side of life. Look at the positives. The negatives will always wear away. The negatives will never beat the positive. The devil will never beat God. Ever. Ever. Right? And this is another thing. It does depend on environment. I try to say it doesn't depend on environment, but it does. Right? Some of y'all mindsets can't get over the environment. So, for example, if a lot of us live in California in the hills, where the mega mansions are, right? Our mindsets would be totally different. It just would be. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It would be totally different, right? But the fact that we live in the communities that we live in, most of them are suburban, right? And it's people on top of each other, right? So now people are always watching and addressing each other, right? They're always complaining about this or that, right? So these are the problems you have when you don't have money, right? So once you reach different tax brackets, once you start moving, you move to communities that actually care about each other. I live in the community. They, they care about each other. I can say, personally, yeah. I remember uh, somebody's house got broken into. Everybody outside with bats and stuff. They're like, where they at? They trying, to, they trying to make sure everybody good. I feel like that's cool. They, they had their little cookouts. We had sometimes movie things and everything, right? I think that's a great community, right? That's cool. But then, you got some community. I got a community across from me. You got some communities where the people don't like the people. The people don't upgrade the homes they don't take care of nothing so everything just goes down in value mm -hmm. right so that's an environmental thing so women they're looking at the environment they're paying attention they're looking at the details sometimes 
the mind takes control because they see like they like yo even if i get my stuff done i get my stuff fixed up i still got five neighbors this way five neighbors that way i got people behind me they never gonna fix their stuff up right so if you're being smart you use your intellect you're not getting emotional about it you're just like okay they don't have the money to get their stuff fixed or they just not gonna get their stuff fixed because they just that's just the way they want to live that's totally fine i'm gonna find me somewhere else to go so you want to find people who match your frequency right the people that's in the chat they don't match your frequency that's why they're in the chat does that make sense because if they match your frequency, they wouldn't be in the chat. They'll be on the videos with you. They'll be at the, 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 the Q&As. They'll be at the uh, blind dates. Whatever, whatever videos y'all doing, they'll be there. They wouldn't be in the chat. It's a different type of energy. Some of these people that's in the chat can't even get on camera. They can't get on video. They're scared. As soon as they say one word wrong, they're going to cut the video off and say, man, I got to redo this video. Oh, no, I don't even want to do it no more. Again, you, you, you can notice the difference between cowards, right, and courageous people, right? Coward. I mean, devilish people, bro. Cowards. They're cowards, bro. Manipulators. Cowards. Courageous people. Strong people. Godly people. The people of the light. You can tell the difference. So, at the end of the day, why am I worried about what, what a devilish person is talking about? I would never. Right? You should never. Because anything they saying is bullshit. Obviously. Come on, bro. And then once you understand that, it's like, there is no way in the world a comment's gonna get to you. There is no way in the world a comment's gonna get you. Like I told you, you gotta understand what level you at now. You get on Beyonce level, you on Beyonce level, but you gotta act like it too. You can't be reading no comments, girl. That don't even make sense. That makes zero sense. No, I studied it. And don't get me wrong, I know, like, I hurt his feelings. I know that I did put him in a situation where I shouldn't have. And I did apologize to him first, like, privately. Like, I apologized to him multiple times. And I, my bad, y'all. We can let the rest of the video go. I kind of just wanted to take responsibility for my action, not play victim. We are cool. And, like, moving forward with us is really just up to God. But at the same time, like, I'm not trying to rush nothing to it. But, I mean, you know, I just feel like that was meant to happen in order to see, like, each other other in a different way maybe that we needed to see each other you know they say like people really don't like you until they really see like things get bad or things go left so i don't i really don't know too much like i don't know i don't want to say the wrong things and y'all gonna take this the wrong way we back at in the hole and i'm back at square one i'm trying to get out <laughs> people don't really like you until things go bad uh that's not a good say it's more so people don't show their true colors like people don't show their true colors until things get bad or you squeeze them that's what i said you squeeze them hard enough? Squeeze somebody hard enough. They, I, they go, man. You pinch them. Pinch them hard enough. To, to where the bank account say negative two million. Pinch them hard enough. And see what come out of them. See if they sit down and be like, yo, God, help me out. <laughs> I know I'm negative two mil, but I know you got me. You finna send that five mil in. See, see, see what happens to them. You can, you can truly tell who people is, bro. You can truly tell. When you squeeze them, when they when they at the part where they mentally drained, you know, when they burnt out, that's when you can tell who a person truly is and who they not. Out of that hole, okay. I don't think I just curved him and just threw him to to the left or whatever. Like it wasn't like that, but I apologize. Somebody said, "Are you gonna put me on a blind date?" Listen, sis, all you gotta do is just lie in my DMs. Let me know what type of guy you like. Da -da -da, I set it up for you because I got you. You know. Alright, Carmen, there you go, there you go. You can be the matchmaker, you know what I'm saying? Come on, put, 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 put people on, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You said, how do you stay so positive when you're dealing with a man who's trying to politically ruin you? Um, I think I, sh I try to stay positive knowing that like my energy transferred to the people that come around me, and I don't want it to always be like a That's true. That is true. A negative feeling or like I'm always constantly talking about this and that. Like I really try to block as much as I can to still keep like a positive mind and just feel good emotionally. Because baby, you can be drained in so many ways. That next one is, what's mm -hmm. something you wish you knew in your early 20s? Don't give your all to a person. Like, you just got to hold something to yourself. Like, 
You give your all to God. You don't give your all to no person. They be here today and gone tomorrow. Literally. They don't they ain't wake up this morning. You don't give your all to no person. The fuck? <laughs> I would never. I, t I, I tell any girl that mess with me, I was like, hey, look, if God tell me to do this, then what I'm going to do, right? And it's like, I don't care how you feel about it. I don't give a f I don't care. No. Not against the person who created me, no. That's but that's outlandish. You know, you're not going. You're, who are you supposed to be? And if she talking outside of that, she got to be the devil. Or she got to be an acquaintance, acquaintance of the devil. Like, hey, you're a dude. You're a dude. Yeah, you're a runner for the devil, man. Get out of here. <laughs> you can give this whole room to a person, like you can't. You gotta keep like this corner to yourself. A little bit, right? Like, in the early 20s, I feel like that's when we make our mistakes. And when we growing up, we won't make the same mistakes no more. We can be 30 and still making the same mistake we made when we was 20. But I hope she's just talking about y'all women, because I know men <laughs> 80 years old still making the same damn mistakes. You better stop that. People still make the same mistakes, bro. I'm gonna say that right now. I would definitely say like don't give your all like right? well, yeah, that's a good one soon. not too fast too soon yeah. you the next one is I know signs kill one. people the most but are you going to ever clear the slander that's going on I really to be honest with you everything else I swallow everything else like alright cool like it is what it is but when it comes to my kids it's like I'm gonna address anything because for one can nobody prove I'm a bad mom for two can nobody ever say my kids are starving can nobody ever say my kids walking around dirty seems like I just don't care for them like I'm not the type of person that I'm gonna look good all the time and my kids like not gonna look good like, that's just not me like I'm a, I become a beast when it comes about my kids cause don't play with that and I feel like kids are off limits you know what I mean and I just feel like the kids car is just whack because it's like at the end of the day I'm taking care of mine very much well you know so I just try to like stay out just addressing things but for daddy that's it's good. like no I gotta let it be known like hey don't play about my motherhood cause mm -mm. The next one is, do you have an OnlyFans? I good. don't have an OnlyFans, like, I don't. This one is, how is your new place treating you? Oh my God, I love, 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 love my new place. It's so cozy and just so comfortable. Where like, my friends come over, they'll be like, girl, like, your place just feels so home. So like, oh, you just want to stay here all day. Because that's, that's how I like to make home feel like, you know, comfortable, cozy, somewhere where you just like, enjoying your space. The next one is, I'm going to read exactly great. how they type it. Where do you most want at this stage of your life? You are gorgeous, by the way. Away. Thank you. I feel like what I want out of this stage so bad right now is just peace. Like I just want peace. I don't want my life to just be around just so much chaos. Like I just want. Yep. I told y'all she going up. I told y'all she going up. She going up. She climbing up Jacob's ladder. I told y'all. I know what it looked like. She going up. She climbing up Jacob's ladder. She finna hit the top to the pearly gates. Do do do. Jesus outside the gates though. Open up the gates. God let you in. You see what I'm saying? Jesus at the gates though. You gotta you gotta go to peace first. If you can't get peace with inside your body at all points of time, and I'm talking about being being able to activate it like that. So if you went, for example, um, and it was a train coming and you decide to walk right in front of the train. If you can't be peaceful to the point your heart doesn't start to po populate, it doesn't start to beat faster, almost giving you a heart attack. If you can't just walk straight and have that faith with God, you ain't there yet. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you can't go in that lion's den and, and, and go, go in that shark tank and swim the sharks, you're not there yet. They're going to hear your heart. Regardless if you're trying to fake it or not, they will hear your heart. They feel fear. All animals can sense fear. That means you're not at peace. You can't be at peace and fear at the same time. It doesn't make sense. I'm telling y'all right now. The quickest way to find that peaceful state is by showing love. This was taught by Jesus, right? By showing love, unconditional love, right? So it's a lion. Oh, look at that dog. They like, that's not a dog, that's a lion, that's a dog. Shut up. Don't let them tell you what it is. You tell yourself what it is. Because you create your reality, right? If you're sitting there thinking of the line, you might still be scared. But if you were like, man, that's just a big dog. You know what I mean? Give me a hug. Right? It's a shark. Oh, man, it's just a bigger dolphin. It's just a dolphin. Basically, they look the same, right? So, what I'm saying is, 
even if it's a line. You take negative and you turn it into positive. That's called transmutation. That's called alchemy, right? I'm trying to teach y'all something here. It's a dog. Let's say it's a real dog. It's barking at you, right? You can think in your head at that moment, oh, this dog gonna bite my booty, right? Most likely, the dog finna bite your booty then. Or oh, you love me, I'm finna run. And you, you gonna run, he gonna chase you. Cause he feel it, he feel it. He knows, he's sensing, oh, we finna go on for the chase. Right? This is what lions do. They sit there and watch you. They see you. So you start moving. They like, all right, you wanna run? I'm running fast enough. I'm gonna catch you. Go ahead and run. And they're gonna try to chase your head down, right? This is the same thing men do to women, right? I'm just telling y'all how, how life works. Tell y'all how nature works, bro. But if you sit there and you 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 hold your ground, like I told y'all, like a right rock or a tree. You know what I mean? You hold your ground. You're not moving nowhere. It ain't change, it ain't put no fear in your heart. It ain't no fear in your mind because you got God with you at all times, right? That animal is gonna sense that. It can smell it. It can smell the pheromones off of your body. <laughs> you like. Oh shoot, this guy got God in him uh, I might not want to mess with him He might kill me Like he already know Because we got dominion over everything Right? The animals already know this, bro The only thing is Half the humans aren't tapped in with God, bro They don't have that peace They they, they not telling Jesus what's up They not best friends with Jesus You know what I'm saying? So they missing it They missing it all Like I told you, that's how fear happens Mm-hmm that's how fear happens, bro. You're missing parts and pieces. You got to have a whole thing. That's what completes the heart. It completes it. You got to have a whole thing. And the only reason why I speak like this is because I was born in the church. Literally. I had to go every weekend. Even when I didn't want to go, I'm tired. No, they like, get up, you gone. My aunt, she was damn near a pastor. Uh, her husband was a deacon. I had to go. It was no not going. Regardless if I'm sleeping in there or not, I had to go. I appreciate it. Because I noticed that people who didn't go, their mindsets are just so different. The way they live life is just so different. People be scared of things that they shouldn't even be scared of. Right? But I get that. They don't have a word inside of them. It hasn't been instilled inside of them. It wasn't taught to them. But once they get the word, once they hear the word from a godly man like me or from someone else, a pastor, anything like that. Now they come to the clarity, which you was saying to relieve the fog. Because when you have clarity, you ain't going to have no more fog. There's no more fog where there's clarity. God doesn't authorize confusion, right? So clarity got to be godly. It got to be good. Because if the windows fog, you can't see. You might run into something, right? So you got to defrost the fog off of the windows and stuff first, right? Come on now. All of this stuff makes sense when you put it all together. But you need all the pieces. Not just some that you like. Some that tickle your ear that sound good. No, you need all the pieces from each religion. And we're going we to tap into that another time. Because the other religions are part of Christianity too. Everything is one. We ain't going to talk about that in this video though. Everything is one. I want to have that peace of mind where I wake up every day and I breathe and I'm like, <sighs> another day with no BS. Mm -hmm. You know, like, because right now every time I wake up, it's like, all right, what's today about? What are we going to talk about today? Where's the drama about? You know, <laughs> it's, it's overwhelming, y'all. And I feel like every time I get back on my feet, like, I'm you got to take a detox from uh, technology. You'll be good. Just for like a week. All she got to do is take a detox from technology. She'll be great. Take a little vacation. Take your kids with you, bro. You'll be great. Then you come back, you're like, oh. <laughs> you're going to, like, it's going to, like, I can't even explain how clean, how fresh, how clear your mind would be. Because that means the whole week you're not worried about what video you got to post, who going to edit it, what you going to wear, da 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 You're not worried about none of that stuff. You got to take a whole vacation. Just to clean and clear the slate. I mean, I'm good. Like, I'm, you know, maintaining myself. Do this and that. Like, something called me to say, but no, Carmen, you can't do that. Go back down. And we can let that happen. You know, right. we can. How do you gain self-control and ignore the BS? How you gain your self-control is knowing that, like, 
Hey, sometimes it be y'all friends too. Make sure y'all watch that. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Sometimes it be y'all friends too. Watch that. Cause I I had to watch that. I had a couple red flags going on yesterday with certain people calling me that normally don't call. Right? So watch that. Sometimes it be y'all friends too. And the only reason why these people y'all friends because y'all probably got one or two things in common. Right? But outside of that, if you take away those things that y'all have in common, what do you like about the person? Be honest. Because if you subtract those things that y'all have in common, what else is there? This is how you can truly tell who's your friends and who's not. Who's supposed to be around you and who not. Because when you start subtracting things away, like people you maybe you hung out with and you smoke with them or you drink with them or uh, you shop with them. So y'all girls like to shop. Y'all shop together. If you cut that shopping out, what else do y'all have in common? If it's nothing, then obviously it's like these people don't need to be in your frequency at all. None of my friends do YouTube. That's a problem. That's a big problem. I need to be around more YouTube creators, right? How else am I going to make sure that my brain continues to be like this? Moving in motion, right? So lately, we do the reactions. All of us do. <laughs> All of us do damn near, right? It's because of that reason there. Because most of the people around us don't do what we do. You have power. Your words have power. So like when you're not using your words and you're not really showing people that you have powers as well, it's so powerful. Like you kill people with silence because they don't even know like what you're going to say or what can you Silence kills them. I told you the tree. I'm telling y'all the tree and the rock effect. Silence will kill them all. You heard what I said? Silence will kill them all. All of them. 40 days, 40 nights, we in, we in the desert. It's going to kill them all. They can't be silent. I'm telling y'all right now, they can't be silent. They can't. It's going to kill them all. You say, or like, why are you holding on? Like, like, let's talk about it, you know? So I definitely feel like knowing that you have your own power on a lot of situations and you know, like, if you open your mouth, you got power of a lot of stuff, so... This one is, what's something that motivates you to do better for you and your kids? My kids, they are my motivation. Every time I see my kids walking around and stuff, and I probably feel sick, or I feel like I don't got energy today, like, they my motivation to, like, girl, get your ass up and do something to just maintain your, your mind busy, you know, because at the end of the day, they can feel my energy when I'm just down, like, especially CJ, he can definitely tell, like, when something is wrong, like, maybe the way I talk to them sometimes, they pay attention to stuff like that. Do you believe in God? How is your relationship with him. I believe in God 100%, shoot, 1,000%. And my relationship with him is getting better. I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to God, like, the way that I should be. I know everybody had different definition of how they would get close to God, but I feel like I definitely have been working on, like, to just have a better relationship. Because sometimes going through so much, I do feel... God gotta be your best friend. Otherwise, I can't talk to you. It just is what it is. I can't have a deep conversation. I know for a fact that the friendship won't be too long. I just know that. Because anything that's outside of God is going to wither away. It's not going to stand the test of time. It's not going to reach 100 years. It's not going to reach 300 years. It's not immortal. Anything that doesn't have God in it, it's going to wither away. It's, it's just something for pleasure, entertainment just for now. That just is what it is. That's the way the reality works. Forget to just even say thank you, God, just for even allowing me to open my eyes today, you know? Right. Exactly. You woke up, you got two arms and two legs. They actually move and work. You know what I'm saying? There's people out here who can't move their arms and legs. That's motivation to be on a thousand every morning. I'm talking about my thing, stand up every morning. <laughs> I'm Gucci. You feel me? I'm Gucci. I'm definitely energized. You did. Because some people, they don't even stand up no more. Right? Huh. Why is that, though? Y'all never asked that question. That's because they don't put God first. I'm telling y'all, bro. 
you're going to start noticing, y'all. The more you start paying attention to these people, you're going to tell who is true and who ain't true. You're going to see the evil and you're going to see the good people. Some people just only only want the entertainment and money. You're going to start noticing it. The more that you pay attention, just keep paying attention. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for people to show their true colors. Because what, what happens is they try to they try they try to put on a what's it called? When you when you uh you know the honeymoon stage when you first meet somebody and like the first five years they give you a certain personality. And then as you get to know them, you start noticing all the red flags. And you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you just like, you scratch your head like, huh? Like, it doesn't make any sense after a while, right? Keep paying attention. That's all you got to do is just pay attention. So, so I definitely working on to having a better relationship with him, but I believe in him a thousand percent. This was a do you think Houston will be Not even a hundred. I like that. A thousand. Home? I believe so. Like, I mean... You know, so I definitely working on to having a better relationship with him, but I believe in him a thousand percent. This was said, do you think Houston will be your, your forever home? I believe so. Like, I really believe so unless, like, a big opportunity comes where I have to move or whatever. But, like, for right now, Houston is, like, my home. Hey, that's what's up. Do you think it is easier now that you are a single mom or was it easier being with your baby daddy? It's kind of like the same, I would say, because I always like used to just deal with things the way I'm doing it now. But maybe it is a little bit easier where I feel like I don't have to like explain myself or I don't have to hold back. Like now I just speak whatever's on my mind and I just let, you know, everything flow. And hey, I'm becoming a free woman. I'm becoming this woman that is just so different from what I was two, three years ago. So maybe it is. Gotcha. And that's what I was talking about. They get into these marriages and they have kids and all this stuff and then they end up feeling like they trapped down, like they chained down, like, you know what I mean? That's what I was talking about. And it shouldn't feel that way. You should always be able to speak your mind and say whatever you got to say. And then for the man, he should never get emotional about what a woman's saying because she always going to say what she got to say. Like, you should already know that. They going to talk stupid. You already know that. So it's up to the man to actually listen and understand what she's saying, why she's saying it, right? And address the issue. Not go back and forth with her about what she's trying to argue with you about or what she's yelling about. But a lot of people miss that part. Right? I've been in them situations before, so I know. You be sitting there, they saying this, you be like, da 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 you like, da 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 you like, da 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 Like, that's stupid. Let the girl speak her whole paragraph. She gonna tell you a whole paragraph. Man, she gonna speak. She gonna be talking for hours. Let her talk for the hour. Let that girl talk. She gonna get all her emotions out, right? And now you able to respond. You able to take action to make her life better because now you have a full understanding of what she feels. But if you butt in while she's talking, just because you might have something might have hit your nerve system. She might have said a little word out here and there. She might have hit a couple, couple of buttons because they like to do that. They, they know what tapping them buttons. They know what buttons to press to get you to say something. That why you did that. Da, 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 da. Instead, you just play it cool. Play the calm and collective. Okay. I hear what you're saying. I, I, I see where you're coming from. Da, da, da. You know what I mean? Like, make sure you're reassuring her that you're listening. And then take action and make adjust, adjustments and changes. A lot of times we like to argue them down because we know we ain't changing, right? So you're trying to argue it down about something that you know damn well you ain't changing. And that's where the unconditional love part comes from because sometimes a lot of women try to change you, right? I'm not being with no woman that's trying to change me. I want her to accept me as I am, right? Because we're all different. I don't like wearing socks. I don't like wearing underwear. Accept me as I am. Right? It is what it is. Everybody's different. Find somebody who's going to accept you as you are. That's, they're not trying to change you. It's easier on some things, but it's still kind of like low key, like a little hard sometimes. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna stop. So, My bad. what's something you can't leave without? We love you and proud of you. Thank you, love you too. I can't leave without my kids and my mom. Like, those right there are like. 
on the key, my on the feet, on my feet, like okay, especially okay. my mom. Like I really don't talk to my mom about what's really be going on or express to her about about a lot of stuff. But then when she talks to me, she already healed. Like she already know what's going on, mm -hmm. what was said. So when she talks to me, like I can't feel when she just calms me down. And that's good. And that's probably because she been through so much. She been through all of that stuff you going through plus more. So as soon as she hears certain words. She already understand exactly where you at. She like, you know what you, you, I got you. I know what you can do about this. That's good. That's good. That's a good relationship. Okay. So, you know, like she brings this peace of mind. Definitely my kids, so I cannot live without them. Like, like maybe just like sometimes just being away from them a couple hours, like it's like I'm, I'm missing them already. Especially see, that's my little rider right there, y'all. That little boy be like with me everywhere. And he be protecting me too. Even when I give a fan a hug, he be like, no, no hugs. No hugs. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about, CJ. No hugs. What the heck? Fist pump. Like we saying, Carmen, you can't get everybody your energy. You can't just be hugging people. Now they, now they smelling good. They like, ooh, Carmen gave me a hug. Now they feeling like they on top of the world. You can't just be doing that to everybody. Can't get everybody that good energy. Some people don't deserve it. Just saying. <laughs> CJ on a big one. I'm talking about. He gonna make sure. Okay. Oh, my mix is like. That's my protector right there, y'all. What do you think will make you happy at this point of your life? When I'm in a song where it's nothing but peace and positivity and everything's just like flowing the way it needs to be and I'm consistent with my work. I'm consistent with what I said I was going to do. I'm getting it done. I definitely will say that part. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do on your alone time? I like to write. Like, I like to write. If I'm not typing on my notes, I be typing on my, like, diary and, and just let everything out. Like, that's how it becomes something that's like, like a peace of mind for me too. This one said, where we... That's true. That's true. That does help. Sometimes, um, type in messages and then delete it. Like, let's say you got this angry message you want to send somebody. Man, you, man. Nah, 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 Copy, cut, delete. <laughs> now you feel better. Like you got it out, but you're not going to send that negative energy toward the people. No, because that's not godly, right? So you can type it, type it out. Type, man, fuck you, and I'm tired of this, and I'm tired of that, and da 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 And then highlight it all and cut. Just delete it. Don't send it. Don't send the negative energy. Don't help the devil out. Cut it. And you know what? I'm going to cut it. I'm going to nip it in the bud. I'm good. I ain't even gotta say nothing. I'ma let God handle it. Cool. That's that's how you do it. That's how you stay in the kingdom of heaven. Because as soon as you send that message, guess what? Now you outside them pearly gates. Now you're gonna step back into hell. You know what I'm saying? And now people are able to attack you. But if you never sent the message, how can they attack you? They don't even have any any type of evidence or proof to attack you or nothing. Right? Because you never sent the message. You never spoke the words. So, like I was saying for y'all men, the, the girl, she gonna talk. She gonna talk for a long time. She wants your attention. She gonna talk. She just wants you to reassure her that you're listening and that you understand how she feel in the current moment. That is totally it, right? That's it. So don't think in your head this long ass message. This is the reason why you did 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 why I did that. Da, 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 da. Don't think of that because when you're doing that, it's the same as you typing that text message. Well, baby, this is why I'm doing this. Why I'm doing that. Uh -huh. But you did that. You did that. But that's not gonna work. That never works. Men don't complain. Men don't explain nothing. Right? Because there's no reason to. You go on a vacation and getting drunk. You let me know because I... In a relationship, that is. I'm not in a relationship. This is a reaction, so I can talk all I want to. <laughs> this is the reaction. That's the point. This is my job, right? But in a relationship, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. The girl was like, what she asked me the other day? I don't talk to her. I'm single. But the girl asked me, she was like, uh, how do you feel about me? How do I feel about you? I mean, shit, you cool. <laughs> I'm cool. That's it. I'm like, yeah, what else you expect? What else you expect? Shit. What, what you want me to do? Tell you my... Put, you want me to just put my heart out there just so you can step on that motherfucker, huh? I don't did that before. Hey, that ain't gonna work. I told that girl, I said, I said, I said my heart with God. That's it. I said, I don't, I don't really care about you like that. You cool. Just like everybody else on this planet, cool. But there's only one entity that can have my whole heart. Because as soon as I start trying to separate separate my heart from God, I notice bullshit start happening. Literally. Literally. As soon as I... I'm talking about... I'm talking about... But... 
I'm talking about as soon as you walk outside, you'll trip up. You'll be like, I ain't never trip up and fall. I'm talking about it just start happening. Stuff just start happening. You know, you know, phone fall. Now the screen broke. But when I was with God, the screen ain't never broke. I don't drop the phone so the time screen ain't never broke. And I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all got to stay in that kingdom of heaven, bro. On the inside, bro. And if you can keep that peacefully on the inside, so that means your body not doing no weird shit, your heart ain't populating, your stomach ain't doing no bullshit, you ain't got no bullshit going on. If you can keep this inside peaceful, the outside is peaceful. Let me be quiet real quick. Let me know what y'all hear. Got a little Call of Duty playing over here. I got the windows open. Got birds chirping back there. I got a gate on the mic. Y'all probably can't hear all that. But can you see how peaceful it is? So think about 24 hours. It's just that peaceful. Think about that. Then if I want to, you know, I'm gonna turn on some music. Jam it out. Me and God. Not worried about nothing. Got some of the naysayers already. They already like, why you dance like that? Not worried about nothing. It's just me and God, right? This is what I'm talking about. So then at that point, you're not worried about what the other people are saying. Because on the inside, it's so peaceful. It's so structured. It's so solid. They're not getting into this. It ain't nothing they can say. Nothing. That's like Curry when he go for them three-point shots. He ain't even got to look at the goal no more. He done shot so many shots. He got so much peace on the inside of him. When it comes to that three-point shot, he just... He make it every time. He make it every time. Because he don't shot it so much. He don't put so much faith in God that when he shoot that motherfucker, he ain't got to look no more. He going to make it every time, regardless. That's what happens. Randy Moss going out there with one hand up. He like, yep. Just a normal day. This ain't nothing new. But they still going to pay me a couple mil for this. It's the same thing. He ain't even got to have confidence for that. He just got God. He like, up. Oh. Throw my hand up, it's automatically going gonna, gonna to grip regardless. <laughs> it's going to grip regardless, right? It's going to stick to him like honey. Come on now. That's because he got God. Most of these athletes, you'll notice, especially the ones that are superstars. I'm talking about superstars. You'll definitely notice they got God first. You definitely notice that. Like, duh. <laughs> You definitely know this, bro. You can you can tell when they when they uh when God ain't in their life no more neither. They'll go from having a 50, 60 point game to a 20 point game. Now you're trying to figure out what's going on. I just put money on this player. He normally do 60 every game and he came in and did 20 points. What the fuck going on? He ain't got God in his life no more. I promise you. I promise you. Because you can tell when people are on that pedestal and you can tell when they start stepping down. You start seeing um, rumors in the news. You start seeing people trying to bring that person down. I'm telling you, I know exactly how this shit work, bro. It's duality. When you got God in your life, you just, you, man, you flying to the top. You on a jet, man. You flying to the top, man. You first class seat, bro. You flying to the top, bro. When you got the devil in your life, man, you in, you in the back. Uh, you might not even have a seat. You might have a seat. Uh, it's crunched, man. You you ain't even, you couldn't even take the plane, man. You had to got you, know, you had to take a train or something. You didn't have enough money. You see what I'm saying? It's like it's it's literally duality, and it's two different sides. You somebody who got God and they like they happy to pay the motherfucking bills. They like oh some bills? Yes, yes. Because you understand when you pay them bills, it's paying somebody else's bills, was keeping the roof over other people's head. Yes. It's time. It's the beginning of the month. Yes. Compared to, again, people who don't have God in their life, guess what? Oh, it's the beginning of the month. Oh, shit. Where am I going to get this money from? 
Uh, uh, fuck. Um, what we gonna do? Oh yeah, we. I check the check. Check the check, bro. Check the check. That's the devil. He gonna make sure you structured. He gonna make sure you solid in one place at that. Check the check. I've been there, bro. So I, I get it. I've been there. I've been there for a long time at that. So I definitely get it. Each time to check, come in and check, I go right back out. God don't authorize no type of confusion, y'all. At all. He gonna make sure that not only one, two, three, four, five checks come in. Right? You can't even spend all this damn money. He gonna make sure that it overflows. Your cup will overflow to where you're gonna have to give. That's what God do. The devil, man, you, you can't get to nobody else. You got to be selfish. You can't get to nobody. Like I told you, I've been there for a long time. So I understand. The last thing you're thinking about is giving to other people because you can't even get to yourself. Like I said, I've been there. I'm ready for a vacation and I'm ready to just let it loose and spread my wings mm -hmm. and just scream out loud and nobody even knows me. Sorry. Like, I just need a, I need a vacation. On a vacation. Just Maybe a week vacation. Your vacation week. Mm -hmm. Just right. Because your girl is a woman. Week girl vacation. Strain, okay? The last one is. I know two, three, three, three days. You need a whole week. You got to reset What's the whole mind. Moving forward from might take a whole month. Sometimes it take. I think it takes 21, 28 days to reset your brain. So I'm saying it might take a lot longer than a week. This is just real truth, bro. This is science, already proven. To create any type of habit, take 21 to 28 days, right? So to create peace in your life, how long you think it's going to take? It ain't going to be no one day. It might be 21 to 28 days for you to truly get an understanding of what peace is and what it means to have peace on the inside. So you got to spend 21, 28 days with God. That is totally fine. If you truly want to have peace in your life, you're going to do the work. A lot of people don't do that work. They do the work for the devil, right? They do the work for all materialistic things. They're not going to do the work for God, though. They're not. They don't understand what that work means. They don't understand the spiritual work. They're not going to do that spiritual work. They're not. They're not going to close their eyes. They're not. Yes. My mindset is, well, I need to stop worrying about what I can't control. Because a lot of stuff, obviously, I True. can't control. And the things that I can't control is what bring peace into my mind. You know, like, it brings me peace to where it's like, well, Carmen, you know, if you let this car out, oh, it's like, it's going to be World War Three. But if I keep it with myself, I feel like that's my peace, knowing that, like, I know the truth. I know the real. I know what's going on off cameras. I know everything. So I feel like that's definitely what keeps me, like, grinding to move forward. Because it's like, I know what's going on. And I know God got me, like. God has been talking to me through people lately and I really have been paying attention to that because I really like was never in that position but now like I can see like when people deliver some message I'm mm -hmm. like that was God, God and you can me. actually hear it now okay I told y'all she going up the ladder Jacob's ladder she going up she stepping up even further uh huh you to tell me this today because it would just be so random you know uh -huh. and probably people that haven't spoke to them in like a minute or so they will reach out just saying this like today one of my friends text me she was like good morning i prayed for you last night and it just made me feel like oh like i got this you know what i mean and then i received another message was like hey don't worry about what's being said like you know who you are as a real person off the cameras don't entertain and this and that and i have like other people that kind of went through the same thing give me advice so mm -hmm. i feel like okay cool Good. Now let's move forward with it. We can be stuck on that forever. You know what I mean? So I have one more. This one said, what has been the best part of starting this new life? The best part about it is that I get to show y'all a different side of me. And also, like, I get to experience, like, just the world itself, you know, like, without worrying about, oh, my God, what happened if this happened? This going to go left. What if I do this? And then, oh, my God, it's the end of the world for me. Or what if I do this, do that? It's like, it's just be so much going on. I can definitely say that I am now just starting to, like, really feel it like i'm really starting to know like with carmen you own this sh and now like this is your shit like you're on your own you know what i mean like so now you gotta like do what you gotta do not just for myself but also for my kids as well girl you know you got this we got this you know what i mean so i definitely am enjoying like this new journey i feel like every man she don't even know man tell that girl she on top of the world right now man she don't even know i told y'all beyonce Carmen, it's the same energy. She's a billionaire. You're becoming a billionaire. It's the same energy. All you got to do is keep rocking with God and keep rocking to the top. Literally, it's the same energy. Literally.
every day. Ambitious. There's something going on every day. I'm still being able to get up on my feet and be able to just, Ruthless, you know, like you know change saying? the scenery and then do something else. You know, Same life energy. is freaking life in. You know what I mean? Like, I am drained. I'm tired. But because I'm so drained and tired, I like, it's, that's what keeps me off the cameras to come in here and I want to cry about it. Like, I know how to separate that now and like, before I get on camera, it's like I deal with my emotion off camera. So I won't come on here and be like, oh, she just looked depressed. Like, she always looked like this, like that. Like, my goal is to always just put a smile on y'all faces. My goal is to always be able to share things with y'all that are very much, you know, a little bit personal, but still let y'all in on what's going on so y'all can understand. Like, and I said I wasn't going to watch the video. Why she doing this? Why she doing <laughs> that? And yeah, let me go ahead and finish it off with this. Every time I say I ain't going to do it, I end up doing it. Sometimes I do that on purpose. I'm like, nope. <laughs> I tell myself I'm not going to do it just so I can do it. Does that make sense? Because anytime we say we ain't going to do something, we end up doing it. No, I won't make a, make a billion ever. Nope. <laughs> just so I can do it. You see what I'm saying? Because you know how we think as humans is like everything is backwards. I'm not understanding why. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. Farmers Boot Camp is like really for content purpose only. It's going to be a serious like establishing like, Karma's Boot Camp. Just like how I did Karma's Boot Camp Season 1. Like everybody like, Karma, we're coming up with Boot Camp Season 2, you know? So right now, like this Boot Camp is just like to entertain y'all, give you a different content, give you a different, just give you a different ideas and different things for y'all to talk about, you know? Like don't take anything personal. I have been learning, y'all. When me to situation, I have been learning to like just control a lot of stuff that I know I can control. And like maybe just don't not be so careless and act like just so tough all the time. But I'm a lover girl, like I said, and I always been this, and I always just been soft. So now I feel like I am a little bit cold. What am I like? What am I looking for right now? To be honest with y'all, so much stuff has been happening that right now, like I learn, like I'm learning how I'm going. Because sometimes I just keep telling myself, like, damn, like I just don't know who to trust. You know, I feel like you can't put nothing past nobody. But definitely, I'm drained. Like I'm just. Excited. Exhausted. I'm tired. It's been too much going on for too long now. So now it's just time for me to just like keep ignoring it and then just moving forward. Even though I snapped on freaking Twitter, letting that out of my chest. Oh, I should have never did it because I know that's what people was looking for for me to react to. But yeah, I just don't play about my kids. Like, don't try to paint a picture like I'm a bad mom because that's. Dang, who was doing that? Whoever doing that, y'all tripping. Whoever was doing that, y'all tripping. That is definitely ungodly. Whoever was doing that was over there with the devil. They was chilling with the devil like, da -da -da -da. they started typing when they was on the phone. Uh-uh, uh-uh, look at this, uh-uh, uh-uh. That's the devil, man. Got you talking about a, a girl and her kids, man. That's the devil, man. Stop playing. Be, let's be honest. Let's be honest. God didn't send you in there for you to talk about Carmen and her kids. You see what I'm saying? Like you got you gotta really like before y'all respond, before y'all start typing with y'all Twitter fingers, before y'all start chatting about stuff y'all don't know about, you gotta ask yourself, will God do this? Like literally, if, if people start really starting first and leading with God, it would change their whole entire life. Literally. Literally. If Jesus was, was here right now. You, you think he gonna have his phone and he gonna be sitting here typing in the chat? No. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta literally face reality for what it is. Forget the technology. They just brought this as entertainment. Forget all of that. Because some of us was born before the technology was here and some of us didn't come until after the technology. So then there's, there's a breach. There's a breach right there, right? They no longer know God. And just because people be like, on, on, on my mama, on God, on, that don't mean they believe in it. Because if you believe in it, you wouldn't put it on that. You see what I'm saying? You wouldn't even start that. That's called blasphemy. That's called being a hypocrite. I never, ever in my life said on God. I would never, ever tell somebody that. That's stupid. Anytime somebody says that to me, I know for a fact they don't believe in God. Because that's dumb. That's called blasphemy. It say in the book, don't say the don't say the name in vain. But they'll sit there and be like, oh, oh my mama, oh my, oh my grandma, oh. They'll sit there and do that. I'm telling you, you can tell the people who is in the kingdom and who is not in the kingdom. 
There's a difference. Big difference, bro. It ain't got nothing to do with no money. A lot of y'all think because these people got 13 houses and 50 cars that they in the kingdom of God. That does not mean that. Trust me, I'm pretty sure every month they, if, if they ain't got an automatic, if they ain't got no accountant to sit there and account all of uh, all that stuff, I'm pretty sure that they, they got a little hassle going on every single month. Right? Now, if they got an auto draft, that's still cool too, but they still got another hassle going on, right? Guess what? How, how, how all that stuff getting paid for? You see how the, you see how the devil can sign you onto his campaign? Y'all, y'all noticing that when when you when you sign these terms and conditions, I'm talking about the terms and conditions. That's what I'm talking about. When y'all get to sign these white papers with this black ink writing on it, they on they print it out. Now you sign these terms and conditions. That's what I'm talking about. Telling you, man. The more that you live life, the more that you're going to open up your eyes and you're going to see the difference. So I'm glad for those who tuned in to the end. You know what I mean? I'm glad for those who stayed in for the whole entire time. I did not want to make this video an hour. But it was an hour. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, bro, if y'all listening to the information, cool. For those that got the ears to hear, they're going to hear it. They're going to listen in. They're going to be like, you know what? Okay. For those that don't want to hear, cool. I don't need you listening to my channel anyway. I don't want you on my channel. I don't want you anywhere around me. Right? Right? You you want a different frequency. You want a different frequency. You stay over there on your frequency. Right? Because if you don't want to be at the highest frequency, you want to be in enlightenment. You don't want to learn about love and joy and how to bring peace to your life. You don't, you don't want to learn about that. That's totally fine. You can stay at the bottom of the totem pole, uh, down there with anger and jealousy and all of that. You can you can stay down there if you don't understand the consciousness totem pole. I'll show you it right now because a lot of y'all don't understand what's going on. And we're going to make sure that you understand this year. Consciousness frequency. But that's all you got to do is type in. Type in consciousness frequency. And it, it'll show you. y'all a whole little frequency chart real quick so you can see where you at when you feeling a certain type of way this is where you're at i'm gonna get y'all a whole chart real quick hold up or you can say energy frequency either or either or show y'all the frequency chart you know they bring a hey carmen thanks for the video let me show them this chart real quick to get them get them up which one y'all want to watch you want to look at this one all right check this out so this is at the bottom you see you see alpha? This is the bottom point. This is the root level. This is when you're thinking with your lower level, right? Your lower level. This is shame, guilt, apathy, grief, fear, desire. When you're in God kingdom, you ain't got no desire. You already have everything, and everything is being added upon you. So what do you have desire for what? It doesn't make sense. Anger. What are you mad about? See what I'm saying? You in God's kingdom, you're not mad about nothing. You don't have no anger. You at peace, right? Peace is all the way up here. This is what I'm saying. Look at the chart. So if you feel prideful, courageous, neutral is the middle, obviously, right? Willingness, acceptance, reason, love, joy, peace, and enlightenment. Enlightenment is the, the highest of the highest. Enlightenment is the highest of the highest. That's when you gain an intellect, when you gain in knowledge, when you gain in anything, anything that's not material. Anything that's not material, right? Y'all can't look at me and know how much knowledge is in my brain. You can't. That's enlightenment. Where else is this guy at? Is he peaceful? He ain't very peaceful. He like to yell a lot a little bit. He got joy in his heart. If you ever watched any of my other videos, you can see that. He shows a lot of love. Just by me, in general, watching these videos and showing a reaction, that is love. I don't have to do this. At all. <laughs> right? I'm nowhere down here. I don't have any shame. Shame of what? What, what would you be shamed of? Right? Guilt. You're guilty for what? We ain't did nothing. So, fear? What are we fearing? Grief? The grief of what? 
desire. What, what, what do I, I have everything I ever wanted. What, what else more do I need? Right? Anything else God going to put on my plate? Thank you for the extra. Right? So this is what I'm saying, man. If y'all know which level you on, and you can tell. Because when you down here, this is how you talk. When you down at this lower level, you just like this. You know what I mean? You can have all the money in the world. You can still be in shame and fear and grief and apathy and guilt. You down here like this. You ain't got no type of energy at all. You feeling down. You sad. This is this down here. This is where, where a lot of people be at most of the time. First, you start like this in the morning. You start neutral in the morning. Depending on what you do after you wake up. If you pray God and say, thank you for waking me up. Now you start leading up to love, joy, peace, and enlightenment. If you wake up and you don't pray God at all, guess what? Now you're going down to courage and pride because now you're leaning on your own knowledge. You're not leaning on divine knowledge. You're leaning on your own. That's courage and pride. That's you being prideful, saying, I'm the one who created this. I'm the one who did this. I'm the one who did that. That's prideful. That's pride. That's lowering your level. Now you're in anger because you know for a fact you didn't create this reality. You know you for a fact you didn't create this world. Now you're in desire. Now you're desiring things outside of your body that you really don't even fucking need or want, right? Again, that's going down. If we're going up, again, you woke up. You, man, thank God for waking me up this morning. Willingness to even get up. Acceptance, acceptance to even get up to say, you know what? We getting up. Reason. Why are we getting up? God gave us life, man. He got two arms, two legs, man. We getting up. We going to do this thing. Love. Oh, I love the fact that he woke me up, that I'm able to do things for people. I'm able to show them love, joy, and I'm able to bring the peace to them. I'm able to bring the word to them. I love that. That's when you start going up. Enlightenment. Oh, I can read the Bible. Let me get some more. Let me get some more scripture. Let me get some more words so I can give it to the people. That way I can see them find the kingdom of heaven so I can see them having peace, love, and joy in their life also. That's, that's, that's godly. We're going up. We're bringing the world up. Up. We're expanding the world. We're expanding the consciousness. You Watch out for the people trying to contract you, trying to bring you down in fear, grief, apathy, guilt, shame. What the, huh? You know what I'm saying? If y'all tap in, really tap in with God, bro. I'm going to see y'all on the next one, bro. We can get into more of these charts, but we don't need to. I think that was good enough to give y'all and consciousness energy so if you see anybody down here and again they you like man you don't even know what they talking about that's the people man get them away from you that's all i'm saying people that got peace love joy you know what i'm saying they happy about life they happy to live they happy to, 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 to travel they happy to man that's the people you want to keep around you all right see y'all next one when we out <laughs> had to give it to you <laughs>